I can hear you. <laughs> You're asking what is happening in Senegal, my Senegal. A lot of drama, my people. Because the president does not want to leave. Can you imagine? The man has done two terms. He like who see or Tony. But obviously, it is not enough. After amending the constitution in 2016 to reduce the presidential term limit from seven years to five years, he entered that time that his first tenure of seven years technically did not count. Since they just changed the term limit, we were like, eh? Stylishly trying to extend his stay in office beyond the constitutionally allowed time limit. The people fought back. They said the devil is a liar. And then after that, every time they asked him during his second tenure, how are you doing third time? The man will say, you will know when the time comes. You will know. <laughs> but in July of 2023, he said that he will not be running for a third time. Everybody felt relieved. They thought the battle was over. They were like, Alhamdulillah, Egbo on Toby. Ashe, he has other plans. Now what is paining me is that when the former president tried to do a third time by fire by force, Abdullah Iwade, this man was one of the people that stood against him, that condemned him. Who knew he would pull the same card? Three weeks to election, the president canceled the election until further notice. Hey, the devil is there. Can you imagine? He took the sovereignty of the people into his own hands. And before that, he was prime minister of Senegal. Is that not enough? Senegal is part of ECOWAS. Yo, what is ECOWAS doing? Did they condemn this? No, of course not. They did not condemn it. King, what we gonna? They only said that he should announce another date. You see, if it is military coup now, ECOWAS will be screaming up and down, up and down, you know? They'll be screaming from top to bottom. This is the first time, by the way, that such is happening in the history of Senegal that the president will postpone the election. This to election for, he has already jailed the most popular opposition figure. That is uh, Osman Sonko. That is why people protested in June. Twelve people were killed because this man sent the police after protesters. Can you imagine? In fact, the court has barred Sonko from running. Eh? Is that not enough? And as people are protesting this election postponement, Zinko, once again, he sends the police out there shooting tear gas at his own people because they are protesting, asking for their rights. The one that is even doing means kind kind right now in the medulla oblaganta of the very, very level of my photosynthesis is the fact that this man has caught mobile internet in Dakar. Can you imagine? And then lawmakers are there considering extending his tenure. I said, where is the fear of God? Again, we've seen so many coups happen in different African countries lately. If you ask me, this is one of the reasons, you know, leaders that don't want to leave. And they will say that they are democratic. No wonder Niger, Mali and Burkina Faso said that they are no longer part of ECOWAS. They said that they are Livio, that they are not doing it again. <laughs> Were you surprised because me, I'm not? My Senegalese people, don't worry. We are watching you on plasma. TV. We are praying for you. Election must hold. <laughs>